Probably the most important thing to know about Google Classroom is how to create assignments properly and how to use templates for them. For example, let's say you want your students to complete this biography presentation. You've made a template and they're going to use this template to create the presentation. In Classroom, you'll select Classwork and hit Create Assignment. Once you've entered a title and perhaps included instructions, you'll click on Add and go to your drive. The biography presentation was the last thing I was working on, so it comes right up and I double click on it. Over here, I'm going to hit this drop down and say make a copy for each student. Now there's something I want to show you. On your Google Drive, if you have any Google Classrooms, you have a folder called Classroom. When you double click on that folder, you will see a folder for each of your classes. And within those folders are folders for each assignment. So right now in test class one, there's one folder. It says templates. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to say make a copy for each student and I'm going to assign this. Now I'm also going to hit this as ungraded and then I'll hit assigned. So biography presentations is showing up here, but when I go back to my Google Drive, do you see how it has created a folder called biography presentations and what's inside of it, but a copy of that presentation for each of my students. Now there's only two students in this test class, but in yours, every single one of your students will be listed here. So let me open this one for this test student. I'm going to double click on it. So I can see this presentation and this is this student's presentation. So when we said make a copy, where it makes the copy is in your own drive. And while the students are working on it, about every 10 to 15 seconds, this will update and you can see what they're doing. They don't even need to turn it in for you to see it. They don't know they're working in your Google Drive. So that's the first most important thing to remember is to select make a copy for each student when you are sending out a template. And the second most important thing is even if you don't have a template for them to fill out, like in this case, this biography presentation, it's laid out for them. Even if you just want them to write a paragraph, I still recommend you do this. For example, create a new Google document. So I'm going to give it a title. I'm just going to type in today's date and reflection. I'm not going to type anything out here. I'm just going to give it a title. Back in classroom, I'm going to create the assignment. but I'm not just going to assign it. I'm going to add from Google Drive that empty file. And then I'm going to select make a copy for each student. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because when I create that in my Google Drive, if I go back here to my test class, refresh the page, there's my folder, and here are my individual files for every single one of my students that I can get to. That make a copy for each student, I would suggest you use that for every single thing you ask the students to do. Now if you've already made assignments and you've forgotten to do that, unfortunately you will need to make them again. You can't just change it after they're there. You will have to create the assignment again and select that option. Thank you.